Hi, um, welcome to episode 698. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this one's a PSA, public service announcement. Basically, this is. Well, let me give the title and explain what's going on, and then um, the title is basically "Stay Connected, um, Reach Out, Be Heard." Suicide is not the solution. I think is what I said. Um, let me choose myself first, then I'll get into the topic because it's on my mind, but I want to get through that part. So, hi, my name is Barry Selby. If you haven't seen me before, um, I do these talks every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on Facebook. It's a Facebook Live in case you're watching this on YouTube. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, we'll see the inspiration I feel today, um, and I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which is why I serve women, helping them create balance in love, life, and business. It's also why I do these talks every day that I've done over the, for over two years now, although this is a different topic than usual, but I do these talks every day about masculine and feminine polarity, relationships, about feminine leadership, that sort of thing for the last two years or so, and so now we're episode 698. So, Today I'm talking about, um, well, suicide, yes, and life, yes, <clears throat> because I just read three different posts from friends of mine who had lost their friends to suicide today, three. So it's on my mind, to say the least, and I know there's a lot going on energetically. I also know that there's a lot of challenge in life to be on the planet right now, which is why I think it's more important than ever that we don't leave the show early. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I just had this flash on the idea of being a, being a theater, watching a show and being able to participate in the show, but then deciding that the show's not going where you want, so you leave. That's what it feels like some people have been doing lately when they choose off the planet, committing suicide, leaving. Sometimes it's the pressure of their own life. Sometimes it's the way the world looks that I don't think it's worth staying for. But I also realize that people are making choices that I believe, from my perspective, and it's totally personal, that it's, a, it's, it's, I don't want to say short-sighted, but it's a limited viewpoint because, first of all, <coughs> I've had some experiences with, with, with um, out-of-body experiences myself, a, a, um, a near-death experience I had years ago. I remember vividly during that moment, I didn't see much. It was a very quick moment to just like leave and come back. It wasn't a long journey outside. But I remember very clearly hearing a voice ask me if I was done yet. And I knew exactly what that meant. What their message was from spirit, whatever you want to call it, was, is my life fulfilled? Have I done what I came in to do? And I knew I hadn't. And as soon as I said that, I was back in my body again. So my feeling is that when people choose suicide, it's because they haven't been listening to that voice. They haven't found something that drives their passion, their juice, their life. And they haven't felt the desire the yearning to connect with other people. I don't just mean romantic relationship, even though I talk about that a lot, because a lot of us, especially nowadays, a lot of us are living life in a very solo, single way of life. Yet, for some, for I'll say most of us, for a lot of people I know, we stay connected in community, online and in person, as best we can. Now, I know there are challenges sometimes with geography. We don't live close to the people you love, so you don't feel as connected, you feel isolated. That's what I'm saying, reach out. Also, um, be humble enough to ask for help. And it sounds crazy to say it that way, but I'm very aware that in, the, in this conversation that people choose out is they present a bravado image. In fact, for two of the suicides I read, I heard from, I read from friends' posts today, two of them were appearing that everything was okay. That everything was going good, everything was fine, and behind closed doors they weren't. So if you're feeling that you've had to put on a show for the world and you don't feel authentic with that, that's a very big clue that it's a good time to ask for help. Maybe you've been around people who don't choose to help, then reach out somewhere else. This, this is something I'm really becoming aware of more than ever, is that those people who've been choosing out more than I, I'm feeling that way are, mo are people who are very sensitive, that are very um, empathic perhaps, but very much feeling that it's such a challenging place to be because the world has gotten very dark. I'm asking those, those of you who feel like you're light bearers more than ever to shine your light more brightly because it is getting darker in some ways, that there's more need for us to bring light to the planet. And when people choose off by suicide, they extinguish part of the light. 
they take it with them and that for me is <laughs> from, a, from a lazy point of view it's like make it harder for us no I'm not kidding but it means that the more and more of us are needed so this is a time perhaps more than any other time on the planet where waking up is more needed not necessarily being woke but waking up to the fact that we have a, a duty a responsibility to love one another that we have a duty and a, and, an, and a, a calling to shine the light where there's darkness to be a messenger of hope to be a caring hand, a kind word, a compassionate heart, a strong shoulder to lean on. There are people around us, I know of myself, I have been through challenges, a friend of mine I was talking to today, um, had gotten close to that point. But thankfully he reached out for help and he's way, he's way happier now and I'm looking back going, that was quite a journey, but he came out the other side. And so I'm grateful to have witnessed that journey and also to know that it's not one way street that when somebody's looking at that as an option it is an option and just to be transparent I've considered suicide more than once in my life mostly before I knew why I was here um, yeah um, so I've been in that place of, of, of doubt and worry enough that I'm thinking maybe better if I left so I know what it feels like in that sense I'm not saying I'm the only one that experiences that but I know in my own journey I've been through that as well but I keep getting back to more and more that there's always another possibility. There's always more available. And I have really gotten clear that the choice of suicide is cutting off any opportunity for anything good to happen. And I say suicide is, suicide is, not, pain, is, not, pain, is not painless because it impacts everybody who you know. I'm going to leave a message at the end, basically, and say it now as well. Is that if you feel that you're really stuck in the area, you're feeling more and more down, you know, if you can get through, is reach out to somebody, ask for help, let somebody know you're feeling this way. And if you're a friend of mine and you're feeling that way, please reach out to me. Message me, text me, connect to me. I'm here for you. This is a time more than any other time where we as a collective, as a conscious, awake community needs to support each other and support the world. So the more of us that do choose to hold our light high, to become a magnet for those people looking for help, to be a beacon for those who are feeling lost, it's more important than ever. I was thinking about if I make this light and joyful, but frankly, it's just where I am with this energy because I haven't read these posts. I feel such deep sadness and compassion with these people that have, been, that have lost their friends. And so for me, this, this is an um, invitation and a recommendation, so to speak, that if you find yourself in that place of doubt, worry, and choosing that life isn't worth living, I strongly suggest, in fact, I strongly suspect that there's another way of doing life where it is worth living. Because life is worth living, as, as bad as it gets. And I, for my, my um, suicidal thoughts were because of money. And that's been one of my bugaboos for, the whole, for a lot of my life. But I already get clearly that money isn't bigger than me. That was the lesson I had to get. That a lack of money or too much money, whatever it was with money, had no place in affecting my choice about living or not that was a big one for me so maybe it's one of yours maybe you've been through heartbreak maybe it's just sadness about the way the world's going whatever that is that is perhaps closing you down remember that you are bigger than all of that including the world that your presence is worthwhile that your beingness is needed and that your light must shine so my message here is simply a quick PSA to say, stick around. We need you. You are needed. You are wanted. You are loved. Even if it doesn't appear that way, you are. Trust me. That's a lesson I've gotten a few times too. So I hope this has been of use to, of help. It's really meant to be just a nudge in that direction. Um, I'm just sorry. I'm just considering if I should offer. No. 
Actually, if you need help, reach out. I'm not going not to promote anything, offer anything that's not appropriate in this context. So please be aware that people care. Please be willing to reach out. Please be willing to text a message, say, help. Life is worth living. And to be honest, I firmly believe that suicide is, is leaving before the show ends and you're missing out on the best part. So stick around. Okay, I think I'll do for my little uh, PSA. Um, not my usual talk, I know, but it was on my mind, so I want to talk about it. Um, I hope it's been of you. If you if you feel that you should show to somebody, because this is really um, not my bright, it's not my most joyful talk, I understand. But I wanted to talk about it now and get it out. So if you're feeling this way, you know to reach out. Get some help if you need it. Please know that you're worthwhile living and being here. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, usually they're much different from this. They're much more light and joyful and usually entertaining. This one may not be that way. Um, but if you join me at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day on my Facebook page, you can watch me live, usually doing something a little bit more lighthearted. And since I'm heading towards number 700 in two days, I'm definitely looking at something I want to bring to the table that might be bigger than I've done before. I don't know what it is yet, but we'll see. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, as I mentioned. The replays go onto my business page on Facebook and also on my YouTube channel, so I'll give you the links so you can find them. Um, personal page is Barry Selby on Facebook. You can find me there and watch the 5 p.m. Pacific time. My business page is barryselby.author, where the replays live. And then on YouTube, my channel is Barry Selby. Kind of familiar my name. Please subscribe to my channel, and you can watch the broadcast under Messages from the Masculine. Um, any questions, thoughts about this particular topic, please put them below. If you need some support, reach out for help, and know that there's always somebody here for you. I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Bye.